In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use the Superbase Real Time feature, which allows you to listen for real time database updates. I will be resuming from my previous video where I show you how to set up a Superbase database. So if you haven't watched it yet, just watch that video and then come back here once you're done. And that way you can easily follow the next steps I'm about to show to easily set up this feature. This is what the final result will look like. On the left hand side, I just have my React app. And on the right hand side, I just have the Superbase table editor. Now I want to insert a new node by going to my React app and just typing in a note and hitting save note. If we look at the console, you can see that I actually printed out the payload that we got back from the real time database update. Looking more closely at it, we can see like the new content that we just generated, which is the note that I just saved, as well as old content and everything else you see here. Looking at the table editor, we can see the new note that we just saved is displayed here. Now I'll delete the note that we just created. And if everything goes right, we should see another payload in the console. And if we look at the UI, we can see that the node is no longer there because we're listening for real time database updates. Once I delete it from the database, the UI automatically updated. So to enable this feature yourself, the first thing we need to do is go to our Superbase dashboard, click on database, then click on replication. All the way to the right, you should see source and zero table. Just click on that button. Here, just toggle the table where you're trying to enable real time updates. In this example, I'll just be doing my notes table. Now I'll switch over to my code for the React app that I showed earlier. I will also have a link in the description and in the comments where you can download all the code that I'm showing for this tutorial. The only change that we need to make is in our use effect hook. I'm just going to paste the code that we're going to need. You can read more about this code in the real time stupid based documentation, but really the only change you need to make is to update the table name here with your own table name. And on line 83, anytime we receive a real time update from the database, I'm just going to call the fetch notes function, which will grab all the latest notes from the database. And that's the only code you need to enable real time database updates. Going back to my React app, if I just add a new note and look at the console, you can see that this is the payload that I get back from the real time database update. Going back to the code, if we look on line 78, this is going to listen for all event types that happen in a database. But if you only wanted to listen to when a new record gets inserted into a database, you can just change this to insert. And if you only want to listen for real time updates when a record gets updated, you can just switch this to update. And for when a record gets deleted, you can just switch this to delete. And that is the end of the Superbase real time tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.